Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to uh, unbox and check out a uh, Kickstarter package that I just received from uh, Barcelona, Spain for the Ardu Simple uh, GPS tracker. What makes this uh, different than other GPS's is that it has sub-centimeter accuracy and uh, costs a lot less than the competition. Let's see what we got here. Okay, nice box. And in this box is some customs papers and the actual hardware, which is kind of small. It's a uh, in the form of an Arduino shield. For those of you who are familiar with that, it's a device that will fit on top of a very common computer used for uh, educational purposes and hobbyists. And we have an, a uh, GPS antenna that's suitable for outdoor use, waterproof. And we have a USB to go cable, which uh, I'm not sure how this is going to help me hook up to the thing, but we'll figure that out later. Now let's look at the actual board. And, and for those of you who are interested in this, I'm going to include links to where you can uh, buy this thing because the Kickstarter is over and they're selling it now from the uh, website. But uh, here is the, uh, the actual GPS chip from Ublox, which is a brand new design that uses four different constellations of satellites to get your GPS data more rapidly. Here's an antenna connector. This is a, a PixHawk connector, this little white thing here, to go to a uh, PixHawk flight controller, which we're going to use a PixHawk in the coming weeks to not control a, uh, a radio-controlled plane or a, uh, a uh, um, drone as most people do, we're going to control a uh, ground-based robot with that and uh, that uh, we're going to get to run outdoors and see if we can get it to do some tasks around the yard like uh, plowing snow. And uh, there's a, a USB connector here to talk directly to the U-Box chip. There's an XB socket here for many different kinds of uh, hobbyist radios and um, this USB input here talks solely to the XB sockets. And uh, we're going to go into this in a lot more detail in future videos because I'm very excited about this module. I want to check this board out. So, uh, Instead of using it as an Arduino shield, because I'm not sure how I'm going to use this long term, I want to make sure it's working. So the uh, I went to the Ardu Simple website, and they said, plug that in, screw this thing on to your antenna before you power the unit up. They don't want it powered up without the antenna hooked, probably to protect the um, circuitry. Then I'm going to use the uh, USB connector for the XB radio. It's, it's one of the four ways you can power this thing, and since I don't plan to use an XB radio anytime soon, I'm going to use this port because I don't need it for data communication. Okay, uh, we did get uh, some lights on. Let's see what we got. We got a uh, okay RTK GPS. RTK fix light on means that uh, you don't have an RTK fix. I did read up on this, and uh, when it's working with sub-centimeter accuracy or anywhere close to that uh, accuracy, uh, this light is supposed to go out. When you're getting correction data, it's supposed to link. Hard to see that on the video because it's uh, making it look like the light next to it's on too. Okay, the light next to it is... Uh, blinking now and that's a uh,
a GPS fix. So we are getting a uh, you know normal GPS fix, which is uh, pretty amazing in that we're inside of a house because uh, you're supposed to run this without a roof. But it's very cold out. I didn't feel like sitting outside. So this means we're getting a normal, you know, three foot accuracy GPS fix. And the other LED, which is on down here, indicating we're getting power. So, so far, uh, things are looking pretty well and the uh, unit's probably working. So I'm fairly happy with that. The other thing is I got to find a metal plate to put under here. They say that the antenna works works better when it's mounted on top of uh, a two foot square metal plate or larger to get a uh, better uh, GPS fix. Okay, now I'm going to try to see if we can get this uh, GPS to run in differential mode. So I'm loading a uh, piece of software here called U-Center, which is a free download from U-Blocks. And I'm going to include that URL in the uh, description for this video. But I already uh, went in here earlier and choose my receiver COM port connection. as COM12 is what the USB is coming up as. And right off the can, we can... Uh, we could see here that we got a uh, 3D GPS fix, which is good. That means we have uh, latitude, longitude, and our um, altitude, so we know how high we are. And you can see all those uh, listed right here in the status window. Now what I'm going to do is get a correction signal. So I'm going to click on Receiver. N trip client and um, what I've done here is I picked New York North Syracuse which is the closest uh, CORS station to where I live which is a uh, uh, continuously operating receiver station and that's where I get my uh, corrections from and I'm going to include that in the uh, description of the video on how you can get those yourself for free. So I've, I've got my information there and I just hit OK. So now I'm using my uh, correction information and I can see that after a couple seconds I've got a uh, DGNSS solution here. And um, I normally want to see that also say float after that to make sure we have a, a really good uh, connection. Because we don't have a, uh, my RTK fix is going on and off on the board right now. I don't have a camera on it, but uh, what we want is for it to go off and stay off. And there we go. We just got it to say float. Oop, it went away. You want it to go into this float setting right here and just stay there. Reason being, that means you've got a good fix and it's going to stay locked in. Uh, right now I'm using the GPS inside of a house, so I'm going through a roof, I'm going through an attic, and uh, I don't have a metal plate behind it, which is uh, the way you're supposed to work it is to have a uh, metal plane behind the antenna. Even with those limitations, we uh, seem to be locked on pretty well here now as so it's staying in float mode. So we're, we're getting uh, close to a uh, sub-centimeter lock now.